Today, on the North American Journeyman, we finally made it to the Caribbean Cup. But we've been drawn in a very difficult group. We start against the defending champions, Mount Pleasant FC from Jamaica, and we play in their house. Right, the time is here. We're playing Mount Pleasant FC. Away. We just beat Seabow, 3-0, which is fantastic. And then we have Pantoja coming up in just a couple days. But our team is pretty well fit. We brought in a couple really good players last second. Even though we can't register for the league, we can play them in this competition. But... This center back we brought in, who's got a bunch of games for DC United. Uh, he looks pretty, he's definitely our best center back, hands down. Doesn't have a huge upside. He's got a couple maybe little holes in his game technique and stuff like that, but he's definitely the most well-rounded center back we have, and he's 6'5". He can get up in the air. Donovan Pines. Stoked on him. Played a bunch of games for DC United. He even has two caps for the U.S., apparently. Kind of rings a bell. And then we brought in this guy, too, who is 25. Somehow he only has one cap for Dominican. Played even for St. Pauli, even, and then was, you know, second teams, and then Otenzin, which is some low-down regional league in Germany, so... Wasn't really getting a lot of game times, but I don't know why this guy doesn't have more caps for Dominican. But, but right before the game, he goes ahead and gets injured for three to five weeks. So, so he's out. But our team's ready to go. We're all pretty well fit. 12 people on the bench. We're playing the young goalkeeper. And I think formation looks really weird because we're in this kind of weird screen right now. But we're still playing center mids. And we're off and running here. In the Caribbean Cup, this happy gentleman, he's got on me a couple times because I have one of his players on loan that I never play. I think this guy is actually maybe coming into our team. Devontae Campbell? No, it's not him. It's a different one. I thought we're, bring, we're bringing someone in on loan from Mount Pleasant in the next transfer window. But let's see what we can do. Five teams, only the top two make it out of the group. We have Seabow in our group as well. Dunn Beholden, who's, they finished the Jamaican season last year as table toppers, but they have a playoff. So Dunn Beholden, I think, lost in the semifinal. But they went ahead and won the Caribbean Shield, which got them qualified for this. Thompson's in the box. Becerra driving in, takes a shot. And Delphine's Del Este are beating the defending Caribbean Cup champions, Mount Pleasant, one nothing, in their house. That's a great start. Thompson has been amazing for us, the American right winger, with one determination. So determination isn't everything. But if we do fall behind or he's having a bad game, then he just falls off real rapidly, so... See what we can do here, though. Can we grab a second goal? Natalucci, complete wing back on the right. On loan from Seabow. It's been okay. Mina's in on his own, though. Mina finishes it off. It's 2 nothing, And we're off to a flying start. Mount Pleasant drew Seabow 2-2 in their first game against each other. So that brings us right to the top of the table. I think Seabow's playing Dunbolden right now. Beautiful pass. Mina breaks the offside trap. Another Ortega. Ortega goalkeeper. We'll watch it a couple times, sure. Natalucci. Yep, yeah, they're playing pretty much the same system as us, so it's pretty much just man versus man. On the other side of the table, Pantoja is playing Harborview, which is the job we tried to go in for. Their coach left for the Jamaica national team. But this is fantastic.
keep it going. Kind of dominating. Not really dominating possession, which is sort of a theme with us this year. When we do dominate possession, we don't score goals. Abulashov with his dribbling, what can he do? Plays it back, loses it though. Campbell out to Allen, good steal from Martinez. Mina over the top, can he score another one? Almost. Great shot low down, Ortega makes the save. Martinez has been good. He looks like he's got a pretty good upside, the American. Ramos with the header down, it's 3-0. The left back, who has no pace but a bunch of good aerial ability. There's been a couple times where I haven't been playing him often enough. I thought he might get recalled, but he's scored a good number of goals from corner kicks. And we're up 3-0 on Mount Pleasant. We've thrown leads away like this before, though, so. Let's see, we're, we're playing pretty confident, though. That's not a great touch from Abulashov. We're on the defense here. Allen's threw in on goal. He scores on Chavez. Says Turchi, the guy on loan, the Brazilian. They get one back. Panto and Harborview drawing 1-1. All the other games are level. But yeah, I mean, if, if we can have a game in hand and up a point, defensive free kick here. Natalucci should be able to come away with this. Gets it to a Bulashov. Nice. Holds off the defender. Dribbles through. His shot's over the bar. He likes to do that. He likes to do that a lot. It's a really good dribbler. Cuts in a nice daisy cutter. Cross from the left, has a bunch of assists this year, but he likes to sky him over the bar after a nice dribble. He has done that more than a few times this season. All right, it's too bad we gave him one back. I'm going to tell him to stay focused. Good, they liked it. Good, I'm nervous. Sometimes he... Say, don't get complacent, and they go ahead and get worse than complacent. All right, possession's all in our favor. Dunbeholden grabs the lead on Seabow. Let's put Mount Pleasant in the last position in the table for her to hang on to this win. Barnett has been... Let me show you Barnett. If I haven't shown you Barnett yet... In the series, I'm sure I will. He's got 21 goals in 18 games. He's a pretty well rounded beast. 16 finishing, 13 pace. His bravery is a little low. If we had better facilities, I think this guy could really, really do some work. We can make five subs in this competition. Oh my, how nice that is to see. Um, we also have the backup, Kiati. He's anxious. He came here with 18 finishing. It's gone down a little bit. He's not quite as good, but he's still pretty decent. I'm not sure what changes I want to make. Bring Pines in for his first game for Reyes. I might do that late. Martinez, but he's really fit. Right now I'm good. We'll probably make late subs and try and close this thing out. Might even go one striker. Mina, James attacking free kick, Martinez, it's bouncing up around all over the place. Can we get it out? Barnett gets beat to it by Howell. Thompson steals it. Is he going to do something stupid? No. Brilliant ball played out by the goalkeeper, though. To Martinez in the middle of the park. Becerra, Natalucci. Just play him through the line here. We hang on to it. Good work here from the boys. What can we get in the ball in the box here? Becerra. Martinez falls through to Ramos. Takes a shot low down. Oh, I thought that was sneaking in the net. Not known for his distant shooting, Ramos, but he's feeling confident right now. Bulashov with the corner. We're cruising. We're looking real good. They've actually come back kind of into it a little bit. I think I'm going to go one up top. Because Barnett's just not doing it right now. And Abulashov is on a yellow and he's a bit tired. So we'll go Zamudio. He's really good left winger. 
Don't want to change the formation up though, yet. Maybe late we do that. Maybe Ibarra from Martinez. Ibarra's kind of pissed me off, but we'll play him. It's, it's like this is out for a corner. Defensive corner, we bring a couple players in. It's fine. Dunbeholden's up to the top of the table. Attacking throw here, Zamudio. What can he find? Ball runs straight through to Thompson, and we're up 4-1. As Thompson gets the goal. Awesome. You should probably take him out pretty soon, too. Somebody... Barnett's drawing all the attention with the foul, probably, from Cummings. But nobody's on Thompson. Pantoja's beating Harborview. Let's go. Let's The Dominican teams beat the Jamaican teams. That's what I want to see. All right. Turchi's more tired, but Reyes isn't playing as good. Coronado's actually been really good. But I want to give Pines his first game because his only opportunity to play is in this competition. And then I think we take Thompson out. Yeah, Otardo can play it. I'd rather not. We're playing inside forward, even though all the players that play there are right-footed. But it's okay. Here we go. Can we grab a fifth? Against the defending champion, Zamudio header goes over the bar. We got a chance to make one last substitution, which we're gonna do here. Some tired guys. Kinda wanna just leave it at, leave the system as is. We got Valencia, we can play left back for Ramos. We can play just a slightly more defensive right back. Or Ojuela, who's not really been good this year. Right back, left back has been kind of an issue this season. Chavez on a 6.6, .6, but... I mean, we're, we're flying and scoring goals, so it's not the worst thing in the world. I think we're 0 for 5, maybe even 0 for 6 on attempting to convince the board to give us a coaching course so we still aren't even working on our first one, which is why we can't really contend for some serious jobs. Barnett's through, plays unselfish to Mina, but he hits it over the bar. Looks like it might even skim the bar. Let's go ahead and just close this thing out. Great start to the Caribbean Cup. This should be the best team in the competition. Outside of us, of course. Zamudio flying in with the tackle. All right, you guys don't need to put yourselves on the deck. I think you can probably just stick a foot in. We'll be okay. James plays Chang through. Good tackle. Low cross, though, gets to Chang eventually. Maliak Chang scores his first ever Mount Pleasant goal. Are we going to throw this one away last second? I really hope we don't. They're pressing us way high. Play it out here. Play it out here. Good. Orahuela. Get it up the field. We usually have no problem breaking the press. Otardo's through. Lays it off to Abara. His shot is wide. I don't think Abara scored a goal for us. Five minutes out of time here. To lose the counter. Attacking corner, please don't counter and score a goal. Header. It's to Chang. I don't like the looks of this. Get a tackle in. Okay, Zamudio. Plays an iffy ball to Becerra. Mills steals it. It's Chang through. Chavez is out to grab it. Good job from Chavez. It's on a 6.4. Might play the other goalkeeper. The American, I think, on loan. It is going to be a Mount Pleasant highlight, it looks like. It's their building over the top. Chang, he's, James is wide open. Looks like they're offside, though. Close one. We're going to go cautious. 
Come on, guys. Let's close this one out. Portmore is winning now. We get the win. Tough game, but away from home against Mount Pleasant, we got off to a flying start. Very good. Very, very, very good. Brian Thompson dominated from the right wing again. Dunn Beholden's on four points after two games. For the rest of today, we're on the top of the second stage table. We just need to finish top four. We'll go ahead and show you the next game because it is Pantoja who's struggling. And I would love to kick them out. I don't really want them to finish fourth, though. So it's either, either we beat them or, or we lose. But we'll be right back. We're going to play against Pantoja. My least favorite mini game is upon us one more time. We're denied a coaching course because they could lose me. They have me for a two-year contract. Please do not waste our time with things like this. They didn't even let me ask in depth. I think that's seven times now I haven't been able to get a coaching course. So... My manager is just crap. My loyalty to players should be way higher than this. I have fulfilled a lot of promises. That's my other least favorite mini game. In football manager. But we're on to the Pantoja game. You can see we're pretty well set to make it to the playoffs. But we'll show you just some of the other players in a full match. Since we got some tired boys. And we got to change around. So Pines can't play. Miller never plays. Um, Valencia on the bench. We'll give Slayton the game. He's the goalkeeper on loan from Phoenix. He's just about there pretty much, give or take. More or less the same player. But Chavez didn't play very good in his last game. He's been okay this season. Um, maybe we play Chiati up top. I don't know. This is kind of a big game, so I want to play good players. Let's see. Yeah, Juan David Gonzalez is out two to five weeks. Cords, doesn't matter. But he's out, really, because he can't really play in these. But I think we give Coronado a game. Maybe a Tardo. Yeah, let's go more or less the same. Zamudio played good. Bulashov needs a little bit of a rest. Natalucci got left out of the Dominican Republic squad. It happens. Yeah, we'll pretty much just go with this. Barra can maybe come in for Martinez. Martinez isn't that good. But I think he's got some potential. He's got some issues. I just want to play him. He's fickle and stuff. Like He's played pretty good, though. Yeah, I think we just go Barnett and Mina. Mina is retiring. I probably talked about that in the build-up episode. His physicals are dropping off pretty drastically. That season, it looks better than what it is, I think. Lots of his goals are penalties. He's been all right. He's been all right. I'm not going to hate on Mina. I tried to convince him to stick around, but physically, I think he's just about done. So we'll let him play out the season, try and get some more silverware. Try and get the Caribbean Cup in his first ever attempt. We have not beaten Pantoja all season. Actually, I want to look at that before we play. Because we've had a good year. Not a great year. But we have not. Draw Pantoja, draw Pantoja, draw Pantoja. And the last game we played against Seba, which we won, was the first time we've actually beat them this season. They have given us two losses. So it's not encouraging for the playoffs when guaranteed we're going to end up playing one of those two teams, probably both of them. That we're not performing that well against them. Home or away. It's always a cagey game against Pantoja. Except for the one we had. I think that was a like a 3-3. Barnett holds it in. He's on the left wing out here for some reason. Zamudio grabs it. Nice. Plays it to Barnett. What can he do? Plays it back to Martinez. Through to Barnett. Beautiful pass through to Mina. That's a goal. Mina's on side. 1-0. 
the business end of the season will start showing some more games. I hope you guys have been enjoying the series. It's a little bit different than the Silesia thing, but it's still fun. I'm disappointed we weren't able to snatch up the Jamaica job and get into international management a little bit because that is the team that... Good free kick from Becerra. Good save from Angulo. Did they change their goalkeeper? I don't recognize him. Seabow's up 1-0 on Atlantico. Header or... Ooh, almost from Horahuela. Yeah, Jamaica would be a great shout to try and win a gold cup with them. But no, it was the Harbor View. Jamaican, born, coach that took the Jamaica job, and then we weren't even able to pick up the Harbor View job, so. But I'm pretty well happy here. I mean, it would have been kind of difficult to just switch teams up right before starting the Caribbean Cup. But the Jamaican League is way better set up to play in the Caribbean Cup than, than we are because their season is like ongoing during the cup. So their players are fit, whereas we just have to schedule like friendlies against nothing teams to keep our players fit, which I don't know which one of those approaches is better. Sometimes I feel like I don't mind it. It depends on the level of competition and how many games you're playing in the season, which the Jamaican league looks pretty busy. So maybe it's worse for them. Sarah plays it to Barnett, just rips a shot low down and scores it. 2-0. And Pantoja might end up finishing fourth, which would mean we'd play them in the semifinal, which I wouldn't want. But if we can beat them like this, then I'm okay with that. And they got a game in hand against Atleti, but Atleti's losing to Mocha. So who knows what's going to happen, but we will qualify, guaranteed. Let's make some subs. Ramos is tired, so Valencia can come in. Bulishov's nervous for some reason. Let's give Kiati a game. Atardo needs a game too. Protonaus. Ibarra can come in for Martinez. Yeah, that'll do. I'm not even going to talk to him. Seabow's up 3 1. They have a game in hand on us, but we're up six points. After we beat them 3-0. Wasn't a dominating performance. Dominating scoreline, but not a dominating performance. We're flying. 4-2 in their game now. Mocha's still up 1-0. Pantoja has one shot today. And here comes their second shot. Cross in. Goalkeeper is lost in space. Slayton didn't know what to do. An L shot grabs the goal for Pantoja. You hate to see it. What is going to... Are we going to blow this lead again? Still haven't beat Pantoja this year. Can we get over the mental hurdle? Kiati, the bar gets it back. Mina breaks through a little chip over the goalkeeper. And that's why I don't want you to retire. That was gorgeous. Yesi Mina, you will be missed. This is pretty. Let's watch this one again. This is just good fight there from Kiati. Ibarra plays the ball. Mina, smart little touch. And then Angulo thought he needed to close down the angles. And instead, Mina just says, nope. Over the top. I'll praise after that. And then let's just close this one out. Cool. So it's great that things are going well here, especially if we can win the Caribbean Cup. Then that's a ticked off the box. First objective complete. But then we might have a difficult time cross into Thompson. We might have a difficult time improving our level of job. We might have to take like a 
I don't think we're going to slot straight into a top job in like Central America. Who knows? Reputation boosts. They work weird in little leagues and cups in the Caribbean. You never know how they work. And that's it. We got the win. Mina, I think they're talking about overperforming his XG. So we're in a great spot. We've qualified already for the playoffs. So we got three second stage games. We're going to skip those. And we'll be back. We got a back to back home games against Seabow in the Caribbean Cup. And then we play Athletic Club Port of Spain from Trinidad and Tobago. And then Dunbolden. So we'll probably come back for these two games. Maybe even do a triple header, but it's probably just going to be two games. We're looking pretty good. We've got a game in hand, and we're in second. Port of Spain's on one point. Seabow's only on one point after two games. Because they lost to Dunbelholden. And then we played Dunbelholden last? We do. So hopefully we can qualify, but yeah, we'll skip ahead. And then we'll be back next time. So thanks for watching the North American Journeyman series. Please like, comment. Tell me what you think. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time. Catch you later. See you on the beach. Mm -hmm.